Here is how you can get the perfect race start in F1 at 22 in 60 seconds. If you haven't already, you'll need to switch to manual gears, which will mean you have access to the clutch. On your starting position, it'll tell you to engage the clutch and find the optimum RPM. You can either look at the number and aim for around 12,000 or look at the accelerator input and aim for the green line to reach the letter P. If it's too low, your car will be slow to pull away or if it's in the opposite and too high, your rears will be spinning and losing traction. Once the lights have gone, do not go full throttle as this will again make your rear spin. Instead, be gradual with the throttle. Short shifting up to second and third and by fourth is when you want to be full acceleration. If it's in the wet, you can go full throttle once you've reached fifth gear. But if you're having issues with the rear still spinning you out, you can always turn up the traction control you have on the assist. If you let go of the clutch before the lights have gone, it's best just to carry on as normal. If you do go into anti-stall, simply hold the clutch again, raise up those revs and you'll be good to go. But that is how to have the perfect start in F1 22.